Armando and the Blue Tarp School. All day, Armando and Papa had worked at the dump, picking through trash. Now they trudged down the rocky hillside. Afternoon sunlight shone on broken glass, rickety fences and tumble down houses in their colonia, their neighbourhood. Burby, Burby, a truck horn blared from below. Armando pointed, Mira, look, Papa, it's Senor David from last summer. Papa was silent for a moment. Then he said, you can go just this once. Armando hurried down the gravelly path to tell his friend Isabella the news. Off they ran, down the dirt road, across the wobbly plank and past the big rock. Senor David, you're back, said Armando. My friends, mis amigos, I've missed you, said Senor David, spreading a big tarp on the ground. Your school, Armando said. I remember. The first time Senor David called his blue tarp a school, Armando hadn't understood. He thought schools had walls, floors and roofs. But Senor David said a school could be anywhere, even on a tarp in a colonia. Ready to learn more? asked Senor David. See, si, the children shouted, yes. Nearby scrawny chickens pecked at the dirt. Hen, said Senor David. He flapped his arms. Bark, bark, bark. La gallina, hen said the children, and they flapped their arms too. Bark, bark, bark. On his chalkboard, Signor David wrote the letters of the alphabet. The children called out letters in Spanish and English, then practised words they had learned last year. House, la casa, boy, el muchacho, girl, la muchacha. Very good, muy bien said Senor David. We'll work hard this summer, but we'll have fun too. Armando couldn't wait. That night, Armando ate slowly. At last, he asked if he could go to school on Senor David's blue tarp. Papa frowned. Do not fill your head with dreams of school. I went last year, said Armando. You are older now, said Papa. I wish things could be different, but we are pepenadores, trash pickers. You must do the work of our family. And Mama added, your sisters are small. I need to stay here with them. The money you and Papa earn helps us live. Tears stung Armando's eyes. More than anything, he wanted to learn, but he knew Papa and Mama were right. Later, Armando sat on his thin mattress. With a stubby pencil, he sketched a picture of Senor David's truck. As Papa and Armando neared the dump the next morning, the foul smell grew stronger and stronger. Rumbling trash trucks backed up. Eep, eep, eep. Out tumbled heaps of garbage. Workers rushed forward to tear up boxes and rip open plastic bags. Flocks of squawking seagulls circled and dove, fighting over bits of rotting food. Armando searched for bottles and cans, clothes and toys, some to sell, some to use. In one tattered bag, he found shiny buttons and silvery thread. From another, he pulled a smudged notebook and a dented tin of paints. These he kept. Armando mopped his sweaty face and swatted at buzzing flies. What was Signor David teaching now? He wondered. By the time Armando and Papa headed for home, the sun had dipped low, painting the sky red. Hearing the gate squeak, Isabella raced over to share what she had learned at school 
Words covered her paper. La rana is frog, she said. We hopped with Senor David. We said, crow, crow, and ribbit, ribbit. Armando's shoulders drooped. I wish I could go with you. I know, said Isabella, but I'll bring you new words, I promise. After Isabella left, Armando copied her words into his notebook. Then he made a picture for each one. Before he went to sleep, he put his notebook and paints with the other treasures on the ledge above his bed. Every day Armando worked at the dump and every day he longed to be sitting on the blue tarp. One evening, Papa said, people are talking about Senor David's score. Armando's stomach flip-flopped. We have always been pepinadores, Papa went on. But learning is important. It could help you find different work when you grow up, maybe in the city. So Mama and I decided you may leave the dump early for school. But, but the money, said Armando. Somehow we will manage. Oh, gracias, Papa. Thank you. Armando hurried outside to tell Isabella and they whooped with joy. From then on, Armando worked mornings with Papa. And each afternoon, Armando and Isabella walked down the dirt road, across the wobbly plank and past the big rock to Senor David's school. Sometimes the lessons were easy. Sometimes they were hard, but soon the children could write sentences and do numbers. They sang songs, played games and drew pictures. Below a drawing of red flowers, Armando wrote, Las rosas julen bien, roses smell nice. By a girl jumping rope, he wrote, Isabella Salta, Isabella jumps. One day a cow lumbered by, Hola, vaca, said Armando. Moo, moo. Hello, cow, said Senor David. Moo, moo. Cows give milk, la leche. Cows give milk, echoed the children. Another day, Armando sketched a fat pig snuffling through garbage. Great pig! Tremendo cerdo, said Senor David. Then Armando showed him a painting he had made of a tall man with brown hair and a moustache. On it he had written, Mi amigo, my friend. Is that me? asked Senor David. Si, said Armando. Gracias, mi amigo, said Senor David. He shook Armando's hand. Week after week, Armando wrote drew and painted. Soon, words, sentences and bright pictures filled his notebook. One night, the smell of smoke jolted Armando awake. Winds howl, wood crackled. Fuego! Fuego! People shouted. Fire! Fire! Mama and Papa gathered the children and ran from the house. Flames roared through the colonia. Papa rushed to help. Men slapped at the fire with wet blankets. They threw buckets of water. Safe on the hillside, Mama hugged the children close. Heart thudding, Armando watched as a wall of greedy flames swallowed up his house. At dawn, hot ashes smouldered. Many houses had burned. Armando stared at the patch of ground where his family's house had stood. Nothing was left. Senor David put his hand on Armando's shoulder. Your words and drawings? Todo está perdido, said Armando in a small, sad voice. All gone. I'm sorry. Lo siento, said Senor David. Two days later, the scent of smoke still hung in the air. Senor David and the children gathered on his blue tarp. What a hard time for you, mis amigos, he said. No lessons today. Let's just draw. 
Armando coloured orange and red flames, black smoke and frightened faces. As the children worked, a car drove up. Please welcome our visitors, Senor David said. They're writing a story about the fire and our school for the city newspaper. The photographer snapped pictures. The reporter scribbled notes. When she spotted Armando's drawing, she asked to borrow it. Armando wondered why. He glanced at Senor David. Go ahead, Armando, he said. It's okay. The next day, Senor David held up a newspaper. Look, mira, he said. Armando's eyes grew wide. On the front page was his drawing of the fiery night, his picture for everyone to see. The children cheered. Armando grinned. Senor David gave him a copy of the paper to show Mama and Papa. Later that week came another surprise. When a kind woman in the city saw Armando's painting and read the story, she sent money to build a school. Where? asked Armando. Right where our blue tarp school has been, said Senor David. Armando closed his eyes, imagining how the school would look. Over the next weeks, Senor David and Papa built a new house for Armando's family from fence boards, chicken wire and old garage doors. They helped other families rebuild too. Whenever people could, they worked on the school. They mixed cement and smoothed out a floor. They sawed wood and pounded nails to build four walls and a sturdy roof. Light poured in where the windows would go. At last, the school was finished. The children crowded inside, chattering and pointing. They darted from benches to tables to books with colourful pictures. Isabella ran her fingers over the braided blue rug. It's like our blue tarp, she said. Then Armando spotted a wooden easel spattered with paint. Your papa brought that, said Signor David. Armando's eyes sparkled. Papa wanted him here, learning and painting. Ever since the first burr beep of Signor David's truck horn, Armando had longed for such a place. A place to learn, a place to grow, a place for friends. Armando flung his arms wide. Words tumbled out. I am happy from here to the sky. And on the back page here, there are some photographs and information about the true story. This is Senor David. And here he is with some of the children. And some of the pictures show the school that they built. And here's the rickety plank. And children walking through the colonia at the trash dump. And that's the story of Armando and the Blue Tarp School.